Hi, you guys. I'm making some instruments in my kitchen. I found some things around my house that make sound. Come follow me and we'll go check it out. Hi, you guys. Welcome to my kitchen. I found a bunch of fun things around my house that I could use to make instruments with. So first, this is a cup of rice. And if you taped a lid on there, you could use it as a shaker. But you could also use a leftover Easter egg. This one has some holes at the bottom, so I probably taped that up really good. Or a canning jar. You could put rice, noodles, salt. Um, the top of the lid itself just comes up like this. You can put it inside, and the lid actually will make noise as well. That. And then this was one of the bowls we'd use for drumming, and I put some rubber bands on it. The open part is going to be the lower sound. And then the top is smaller and it's closed, so it's going to have a higher pitch. You can also use a leftover tissue box, but this side got smushed, so I can play on this side. It almost sounds like a guitar. You can play a song. And then I found the lid to a pot in my kitchen. If I hold it, it will clump. So, see if you can find one with a handle and hold the top. Now it sounds like a cymbal. And I can use that same pot from the kitchen right here, and I can drum on it. Let's do our rhythm that we did this week. One, two, three, four. Let's add our rest. One, two, three, sh. One, sh, three, sh. One, sh, three, sh. And then I had a container that I used for my pencils and markers, and you can tap the top. Depends on where you tap, it makes a different sound. And here's a smaller bowl I found in my kitchen. So if I use the pot, this container, and the bowl, it'll make all three different sounds. And end with a cymbal crash. Have fun making some instruments at home. During Zoom, feel free to show me what you guys have come up with. Ask your siblings or your grown-ups at home to join along and have a wonderful time making a musical band at home. Bye.